Hello and welcome to Nano Yoga. My name is Nanako and I'm a yoga teacher in a place called Bioko in Japan. So we've had a beautiful, beautiful bluebird day. I didn't even actually go snowboarding today, but I'd make videos. So um, I also teach uh, yoga lessons throughout the winter in Akakura Onsen, which is where a lot of people tend to stay in Miyoko. Um, this place is super famous for its really deep snow. Um, some ski resorts in the area have up to half 500 centimeters base already and it's just the start of February so we've had a pretty epic winter. So this yoga class is a core for snowboarders. It's about seven lessons and if you would like to continue to practice this you can download the um, PDF or oh, straight into your inbox so you can kind of get it onto your phone, laptop, iPad I guess um, or Android if you'd like to practice this at home. And don't forget please to subscribe to my Nano Yoga channel and like the page and if you have any comments I will for sure reply to you so let me know in the comments below. So let's get started. So we're going to start in downward facing dog. So from here pressing the palms down, you're not actually quite in <laughs> a plank pose yet, we're going to get into our down dog. So here I'm um, just going to Bend those knees depending on if you're doing this in the morning or if you've already warmed up a little bit. If you're in Japan, you might have had a hot spring bath and onsen. But here I'm going to straighten my legs and pressing the heels down towards the floor, pressing the chest down towards the mat. We're going to stay here for about four more breaths. So this is more of a stretcher than a core, -er, core worker, excuse me. Three more breaths. And then lifting the left leg up towards the sky, we're gonna do some crunches. So left knee is gonna to come towards your left elbow. One breath here. And then another inhale, staying here. And then exhale, bringing that left leg behind you. Next, we're going to inhale, you're going to bring the knee in towards your nose. One breath here. And then inhaling, staying where you are. And then exhale, bringing it behind you. So actually, the more you hold it, the more you'll feel it in your body. So inhale, staying where you are. And exhale, we're going to bring the left knee towards your right elbow. One breath here. And then inhaling, staying here. And exhale, we're going to bring that left leg behind us. We're going to stay here in three-legged dog, but here what we're going to do is align those hips, bringing the palms down on the mat. One breath here. And then bring the left leg down. We're going to do this on the other side. So lifting the right leg up into a three-legged dog. And as you exhale, you're going to bring the right knee towards your right elbow. One breath here. Inhale, staying where you are. And exhale, we're going to bring the right leg behind you. Next one, inhale, bring your knee in towards your nose. One breath here. And then inhale, staying here. And exhale, bring it behind you. And then next, inhale, right knee to left elbow. One breath here. Oh my god, I'm getting tired. One more inhale, staying where you are, and exhale behind. And like we did on the other side, you're going to stay in your three-legged dog, but here you're going to line those hips, so you're not going to open too far to the side. Just bring yourself down. One more breath here. And then you're going to bring the foot down, right foot down. We're going to walk those feet towards the front of the mat. And here, you're going to bring yourself up, hands up towards the sky, inhale, and then hands together in front of your chest to a prior position, Gasho, Japanese, sorry. And then here, you're going to bring the right foot up slightly and lean into your left foot. And we're going to bring the right foot up slowly. And here, if this is enough balance for you, stay here. If you'd like to go further, but it's a bit wobbly, doesn't matter. This is 
for your core. So make sure you're grounding the left foot down. And next, if you'd like to go further, let's pick a point to stare at, so your drishti gaze. So looking down on the tatami mat for me, I'm gonna go further up with my right foot. And here you can stay about straight. You can bend the knee if you've got any knee issues there. We'll make it a little bit more challenging. I'm just gonna straighten mine. But here what I'd like you to do is straighten those hips. So staying here, another three breaths. One more deep breath here. And as you exhale, we're gonna bring that right foot down, 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 down. You're gonna feel in that left hip and bring both feet down. Wiggle, wiggle those hips. And then both hands down to the side, which is kind of a mountain pose position. Hands up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, hands towards your chest. Lifting the left leg up. So I'm not mirroring you guys, I'm pretty sure my left leg is going up. And here, Let's bring it a little bit back and see how your balance is doing. So here you're grounding the feet down, bring the left foot back. And from here, if this is good for you, stay here. If you need to go a little further up, just with the toes kind of doing a bit of anchoring, it's not a problem. But if you'd like to go further up, further into the warrior three, just look into somewhere that's not moving. So I'm gonna look at the tummy mat again in the corner and you're gonna lift that left leg up, up, up. And here what I would like you to do, so if you, even if you're a little further, is straighten the hips. So you're gonna left hip a little further down, bring your left foot up. So if you'd like to, you can go as straight as you need to. I'm gonna come up a little bit, a little strong on this side, I'm gonna bend my right knee. Three more breaths. And then inhale, bringing that left leg down nice and slowly towards the mat. Whew, and then both hands down by your side. And here's next one. We're going to bring ourselves back down onto the mat, both palms down into a plank pose. The next one's a bit of a tough one. So we're going to do this one five times. So this is a core workout. So you need a good core to snowboard. So we've got to do it. So. From plank, here you're gonna press the heels towards the back of the room, and here make sure your butt isn't too high or too low. And what we're gonna do is chaturanga. So here this is um, pretty much, you'll need some upper body strength, which um, is not my forte, but you can always bring the knees down. So this is one way to do it. So you're gonna exhale, bringing the elbows to the side, and you're gonna hover a little bit, and you're gonna inhale, and then come back up. So this is kind of like a yogi yoga push-up. So here, I'll show you again. So exhale, coming down. The elbows nice and in towards the side of your body. And inhale back up. And if you're all right, you wanna bring the knees up. So I've cheated a little bit. You're gonna exhale down and inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Oh, yeah, we can do one more. Exhale down and inhale up. And then next, we're gonna get back into our downward facing dog. And let's see how we do the next one. So, inhaling, staying here. And as you exhale, I'm gonna get into the chaturanga. So here again, bring your knees down. And then exhale, back into down dog. This is a bit of upper body strength too, but you gotta get strong all over essentially <laughs> to become the strongest snowboarder. So, maybe I should have called it all body strength, but we're focusing on the core. So exhale, coming back down, chaturanga, inhale, back into downward dog. Whew, shaky. Inhale, staying where you are, and as you exhale, we're gonna go back into chaturanga. Exhaling behind, two more, inhaling, and exhale, chaturanga, inhaling up, exhaling down dog, one more, inhale, and exhale, chaturanga, and inhale, oh my goodness, back into down dog. So staying one breath here, if you need to bend the knees, you're more than welcome to. And then bringing the left foot forward and right foot crisscrossed, we're gonna get onto our bum, final pose. So, 
guests get into boat pose. So here you're gonna balance on the bum, and you bring your hands, so there's three ways of doing it. So let's, I'll show you them. And then you're gonna balance on the bum a little bit, point the toes down, and bring the feet up. This is one way of doing this pose, boat pose. Chest open, shoulders down, looking forward. You can even put a little drink there on your shins, so they're nice and straight. And next, you're gonna bring your hands to the side. One more breath here, or two more breaths here. Chest open. Then final one, two more breaths here. Leg nice and straight. You'll be a bit of a wiggle there, or shaky shaky. And exhale, lying all the way down. And then here you can stay here for a couple more minutes in Shavasana. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling. If you're in a rush, coming up nice and slowly. Get into a comfortable seated position. And that's it. So this was the core yoga for snowboarders. I am exhausted. I actually usually teach much softer lessons, but um, I do do these exercises because um, I want to get stronger. I do a bit of backcountry, I'm like a total beginner, and man, I snowshoe. So I essentially carry uh, my snowboard on my backpack and it's really heavy. I have like the strength of a um, mouse at the moment. Um, I'd like to go to further to the strength of an ant. Hmm. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, I hope your core is feeling nice and strong. It'll be much easier for you, for your snowboarding, to balance when you go up and down, doing your binding. You need so much balance, which is just something you need to get used to if you're still learning to snowboard. Um, you'll get there. It just needs practice, like everything else. So if you like this video, please um, subscribe. Don't forget to like it. Do the thumbs up thing button. And uh, any comments below, um, I'll reply. And uh, if you're on Instagram, on nano.yoga. And finally, if you would like this sequence, there is a PDF document that you can get straight into your inbox to have it on your phone or your iPad or your laptop so you can practice this anytime. So um, that's it. Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimashita.